so welcome to real life potions um, today I will be making a special soap for my auntie and for a co-worker of mine who um, and my goddaughter who's actually suffering with I keep pronouncing this word wrong but it's eczema so what I did was I went online and did some research and I found, um, I had a book that I used in Kindle. And I just wanted to mention that book because I used the information that I found in the complete book of essential oils and aromatherapy by uh, Valerie Ann Woodward. I'll put the link to her book that you can purchase on um, Amazon in the description below. Um, there were a lot of um, reference to oils versus essential oils because I guess essential oils can actually um, kind of irritate the skin as well. So I'm going to leave out um, essential oils from this batch. Now this would be a melt and pour batch because I promised them that I would have some for them this week. Um, so. What I'm going to do now is just show you the ingredients I will be using. Um, I'm using two different, um, well, four different soap bases. I'm going to use a white and clear base together. Uh, just because you have some type of ailment doesn't mean that your soap has to look ugly. So um, I'm serving two purposes here. So I'm going to first start off with the white base which I will be using um, in the white base. The ingredients will be, um, I'm using castle, um, pastel, melt and pour from Peak. And I'm using um, from another one of my great providers, a homemade um, store on um, Etsy. And Bonanza is the Gourmet Rose. I'm using um, the Oatmeal Melt and Pour. So I'm going to use a, a pound and a half of white. And what I will be doing is shredding that into a mold and pouring the clear over it. But the white will have, um, although it has oatmeal, I'm going to add some more oatmeal, powdered oatmeal to the mix. I'm using very ex expensive oil in this mix because I really wanted to do um, wonders for my family and friends. So I am using um, basically the top notch brand. Um, I will put in the description if you don't have or you don't want to spend on a specific um, expensive oil which you can use in replace of what I'm using. But all the oils that I'm using today are on the more expensive side um, except for maybe the cocoa butter and the olive oil, uh, oil. So for this batch, the white batch, I am going to um, use apricot kernel oil. I'm going to use borage seed oil, calendula oil, or however you pronounce that and evening prim rose oil so stay tuned I am going to melt down the um, chop up the white base and melt that down and I'm sure you have seen enough melt people chopping up so I'm going to skip that and I will be back when I start so what's going on now is the soap has uh, the soap has melted luckily I have the candles I have it it just dry up and I'll be able to peel it off but I just wanted to show you the clumps that I'm still stirring around in here which is okay because um, it'll help cool down the soap I didn't want to keep it in the microwave and heat up and scorch the soap that's already liquefied and we are at 141 in terms of temperature wise so 
that's pretty warm. So, and I will add the oatmeal at about 130 before I pour it into the mold. And I'm not using the white mold that I showed you at the beginning. I'm actually going to use this mold right here. Oh, that's in the way, but actually this mold right here, and it'll be easy for me to shred it with the shredder or put it through the um, shredder that I have two different types of shredder machines. I'll show you, but I will add the melt and pour the white in here because a little bit. Okay, so this is, it's below, but it still has chunks in it, so it's at 129, and it's still, I'm still melting down chunks, which actually, I don't think that should matter since I'm going to be shredding this anyway, but I'm going to still um, heat it up just a little bit more so all the chunks can get out of it, and it could be more of a smoother blend. So... I just put this on a little quick 30 second boost burst <laughs> okay I got get I need probably I need to go to a toastmaster or something but that's funny um so it looks like all the soap is melting now but so I'm back at 142. Yeah. So I'm back at 142 point. I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of the um, oatmeal. I'm not adding a whole lot. And I'm going to go ahead and add all the oils that so this look like a lot, but I oils but I did my chart and I added the right amount of oils based on the pound that I was using although I'm using a pound and a half so I think I'm still good in terms of making sure that it's not too much too much oil in here where it doesn't surge up so maybe I should turn it this way so you can see You can see the chunks, but that's okay because, like I said, this is a white base. Well, the shreds are going to be white. I'm not adding any color or essential oil because the intended customers are people who are suffering with eczema. So I'm going to let these harden up, and with my melt and pour, I never... But that's hard enough, yeah. With my melt and pour, I am not a fan of rushing it to make sure that um, melting it to make sure that, or putting it in a refrigerator or to try to get the, um, the molds to kind of cool off real fast. So I am going to let this. Okay, so I have filled up my two pound mold to the top. I also filled up my sample mold. But I have still have quite a lot to um I still have quite a lot of shreds to work with. So um what I'm going to do is use this mold um, and make little flowers and maybe this is what I'll give to my family and friends to try out and maybe use the cut mold to sell. I'm not sure yet. But you have an idea of what it looks like inside. So these are what I will be using for as embeds. I think I'm going to use these to just give these as testers for my family so they could comment online 
and then if everything goes well and they feel like this soap did them justice um, to help them out then this is what will actually go online and if not um, I still might sell it because it's pretty and it has pretty expensive oil but it would just probably be more of a plainy Janey soap um, with a lot of uh, great oil so we'll see